Coach, it is always a celebration here in New Orleans, and we are just outside of the French Quarter at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Kittle last year, what a season. 1,377 receiving yards, an NFL record for tight ends en route to his first Pro Bowl. Not bad for the former fifth-round pick. As you, I remember that game December against Denver. He had that monster first half, 210 yards, did not have a single catch in the second half, but still those 210 yards were just four yards shy of Shannon Sharp's single game record for a tight end. Seven yards there and a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Garoppolo finding his tight end, Kittle. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, here we go, here we go. stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Yeah, and he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Here we go. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo, and that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On is the rookie fourth rounder, Mitch Wisnowski, to punt this one away. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at the 20. Running with Kamara and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20 to throw, it's Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Jared Cook is a guy who's been around the NFL. He's been with the Titans, the Rams, the Packers, and the last two years in Oakland. Now he makes a move to the Big Easy, where he pairs with Drew Breeze and forms a nice little threat. One set, one set, eyes up, one set. Check nine, check nine. Breeze now on first down. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. His 13th NFL season now, Ted Ginn, still a reliable target for Drew Brees. 787 yards in 2017, just five games last year due to injuries, but he still has the wheels. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. He'll let this go for the end zone. Got a man open, it's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 43 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. 
And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Garoppolo. And that's complete to Sanders. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a man who really stepped up last year. This is Matt Breda. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here we go. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. It's caught by Sanders. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it here all go, game go, long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Here we go. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways go, for, for this team like because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him here go, here and go, really trying go. to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They'll run with Coleman on first down. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Here we go, Following here we go. the pickup of four, here's second and six. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
Well, remember, Tevin Coleman was in the two-headed backfield in Atlanta during his four years there, along with Devontae Freeman. Now he joins a crowded backfield in San Francisco. But in Atlanta, he played under offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan, and then, of course, Shanahan becomes a 49er head coach, and he made it a point to go out and snag his former running back because he really you likes his 26-year-old ball carrier. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing we go, so we far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 12 yards there and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak. No running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got Let to him go. quickly and put the quarterback down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. On second down, a run with Breida. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Go, the crowd here, here on the dome Please. making things difficult. Third and goal. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel. There to make the grab as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Ready? You ready? Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Woo! Defensively, Jimmy Ward in on the stop. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. On second down, Kamara. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. 
Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 35. <laughs> Come on, one thing for sure. You know that Michael Thomas is going to be the target on a third down pass, and Drew Brees finds him and keeps this drive moving. Hey, Brees now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Brees. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 let's yard go, line. Let's go, let's go. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got my cover. Oh, he just stuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. They come out here in the eye. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They run with a former Viking and Raider. It's Latavius Murray. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have taken the lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. What's good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 27. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Completes it to Coleman. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Watch the screen! Watch the screen! Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Win 80! On second down, it's Coleman. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Here we go, here we go. Wait, Amy! 54, right, 54. Let's go one more. And They'll get nothing out of the completion there, and it leads to a fourth down. And that's when it's fun to play defense, when you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play. That's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, here's pressure, and the Saints block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And a big play there, and they will wind up taking possession in the red zone. First and 10 at the 17. 
Uh, so much for pinning him really deep. Short punt could have pinned him inside the 10. Now great field position the other way. It's never good when you're punting the ball and your eyes see the ball go back behind you. <laughs> no. In however form, whether it's over your head or to the side, never good. Now it becomes a race to get to the football so they don't pick it up and take it all the way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the nine yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Breeze now. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Touchdown. Ted Ginn there to make the grab. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Lux with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football here we go, here we and go, hope that go. someone, like while they're three. holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? Here we go, here he we ran go. right through that weak tackle attempt. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first down, here's Breida. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Eli Apple up from his corner spot to make the play. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. You can see the time and effort and thought that they've put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, here we go, here we go, here we go. but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On first down, Coleman. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. 
What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. George Kittle, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Completes it to Samuel. 15 for the Niners there, the first down. First and ten. The Sanders has got it complete. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and here create go, catches. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath. Nearly got picked. They may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And his kick is good, not by much. It was leaking oil in the end, but he tucks it in the bottom right corner. CD, you know there were quite a few Bears fans back in January saying, why didn't we hold on to that Robbie Gold guy? Well, it's a legitimate question. 33 of 34 for San Francisco in 2018. The crazy stat of the year, he missed more extra points, too, than he did field goals, one, in the 2018 season. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it can be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. On first down, Breeze. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. With that incompletion, I want to revisit some playoff talk. We talked about the top two seeds, but let's break down the AFC playoff picture. Ravens and Pats on top. If the season ended, we'd be looking at the Bills in the five spot and the Steelers the six. That would give us wild card games of Bills, Chiefs, Steelers, Texans. You give the Titans, Raiders, Colts, or Browns any shot, Charles? I give the Titans a shot. Yeah. They get Houston twice in the last four games of the year. And the way they're running the ball with Derrick Henry and their defense playing well, 
Yeah, they're very confident right now. The Raiders, no, I don't give them that type of a shot. I think they're a year ahead of schedule with the season that they're having. The Colts, I do give them a shot. Okay, Jacoby Brissett, if he can get hot down the stretch and they get Marlon Mack back running the football, I think they can have an impact. And Cleveland, no, I don't give them any shot. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. D4 in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. The 49ers have Richie James back deep. This will be fielded at the 17. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. There's Garoppolo to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Coverage there by Von Bell. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. The Niners on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. To throw is Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing. Oh, here's pressure and the Saints block it. It's picked up and this is a live ball, remember. And they are going to get the football here with possession 13 yards away from the end zone. And that pressure there came from his left side. Maybe could have sped up the release, but he couldn't get it off in time. And truthfully, the speed should be consistent each and every time. It should be quick mechanics. The best punters are the ones who can catch it one step and get rid of the football. Those are the ones you want. Anything more than one step in the NFL, you're flirting with disaster. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. There's Breeze. Ginn has it complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. The touchdown was scored by the runner. But the offensive line, they feel like it's theirs. They blocked that one up perfectly. Allowed him easy access to the end zone. Lutz good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
This is taken at his four. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. This one complete to Coleman. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, go. though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Here we go. The Niners on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and seven. Garoppolo now. He's got his man. It's Kendrick Bourne. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make here sure go, the quarterback go, sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Sanders and past the 35 he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30 a gain of 10 and a 49er first down well coaches always talk about finding balance on offense I don't think you can get much more balance than this big time run big time pass a one two combination look pretty good how about that let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's caught. It's Coleman. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up a third down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here we go, Seventh here we go. play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. And we're pretty quiet, D. We're pretty quiet. Garoppolo again. Got his target, Samuel. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here we go. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers make some inroads here on that deficit. Gold to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. Then he'll take this across the 25, couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. Breeze now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Well, CD, earlier we looked at the AFC playoff picture. Let's quickly peek at what's going on in the NFC right now. We mentioned Seattle and New Orleans would get the buys if the season ended today. The matchups, though, first round wild card weekend would be San Fran and Dallas and Ready. Minnesota and Green Ready. Bay. I smell ratings, my friend. <laughs> Big time ratings. Let's start with Minnesota and Green Bay because that would be their third meeting of the year as they are division rivals in the NFC North. And, of course, going to Lambeau anytime after October 15. It's dicey with weather, so you don't know what you're going to get. Minnesota now a dome team. How about San Francisco at Dallas? You could potentially have a San Francisco team with 12 or more wins going on the road to take on a division champ, the NFC East. Dallas, they may have eight wins. Doesn't seem right, doesn't seem fair, but that's the system. San Francisco may very well have to do it. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. From the gun, it's Breeze. And Thomas has it. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Bree's going to throw. He's got the first down and more inside the 40, and he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup, first down New Orleans. The Saints spent a third-round pick on Trey Quan Smith out of UCF in 2018, and what a thrilling season for him. He was the guy that caught the pass from Drew Brees that moved him past Peyton Manning to become the all-time leading passer in NFL history. And this is Cook with the ground. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 48. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will get the lead up to 14. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. 
As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They start the second half with Kamara. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They run it again with Kamara. Leaping over him. Seven yards there and a first down. Let's go, we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Get ready. Get ready. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Wait, what? On first and ten, here's Breeze. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Give him 18 there, and the Saints have a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Breeze is throw on target to Cook. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Go trip is here, baby. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara, but it'll be second and goal. The touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now Breeze. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Ted Ginn, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This is taken at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Right here we go. 180! 54 Mike. I got one, I got one, I got one! Throwing on first is Garoppolo. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here After go, the incomplete go. pass, Arnie. here now is second and ten. Arnie, Arnie. Arnie, Arnie. <laughs> Throwing now is Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And this is going to be another let's first go, down as the tackle's go. made at the Saints 35. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover go, him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second Here down. Go. The run mean? got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Garoppolo after the fake give to Breda. The Sanders has got it complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings yeah. up third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? It's tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. There's Breeze. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch every... And the Camara has it stripped. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. This is Breida. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. <laughs> Running lanes were at a premium that's in the first it. half, but he's big able to hit. find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here we go. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here we go, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, play action, Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Go, this go, offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And this one is right down the middle. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens, and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? And they only gave up the field goal. And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. Ready. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it down field, punching the end zone without turning it over. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. To throw, it's Breeze. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Breeze to another longtime vet again for the New Orleans first. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence, when in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal 95, trash 56, their way, 95, 56, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down Ready? before he truly I'm gets waiting. started? I got you. I got you. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Watch the pass. Watch the pass. Cut, cut. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Boom. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the Big NFL. Night. He used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard yeah, pickup. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that is incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll begin the drive with Breda. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Taking a shot for Samuel. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Von Bell. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. So after the INT, it's Breeze. Looking sideline, incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn. And now it's second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Now Camara. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the gun on third down, Breeze. And Ginn's got it! And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Hey, 95-56. On the ground, Kamara. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. 
Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it can be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Camaro, and he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Saints on third down. They've been really good, converting seven of their ten tries. This will be third and six. Now Breeze. And he finds Cook. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 41-yard line. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. And look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Breeze now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw is Breeze. It's caught. Smith. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it. The Saints on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions looking for a ninth. This is third and nine. Breeze now to throw. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10 play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal and for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The 49er 54, offense set to get this drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they here attack them here. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Looking to throw. Garoppolo completes it to Coleman. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 45-yard line. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And a pass complete here to Sanders. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That throw good for four. It's second down.
Right there, Four there, yards there, on that last hey. completion, so that sets up second and six. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. That'll be complete to Breda. Hey, come on, come on, come on. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to bring out the third down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. And able to haul it in is Kittle. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. Here we go. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Coming to you, coming to you. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And he hauls it in zone touchdown San Francisco Emmanuel Sanders there to make the grab and the 49ers get a score closer precision 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 that's the definition of it right there great pass great catch for the score yeah people talk about arm strength all the time well if you're not precise and you're not accurate the arm strength really doesn't matter we saw a little bit of everything with that throw Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 27. All that and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. You ready? Stay with your man. On second and nine, Breeze. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. James now to return. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. Here we go, here we go, here and that will come the offense as they take over. Single, 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 From the 34 single, now, here's first and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. Taking a shot for... And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays... Let's face it, that's what we absolutely hey, go, love for. Go. How about hey, that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Garoppolo now. Open man is born. 
Go ahead, go ahead. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. To throw again on second down. Garoppolo got the connection here to board. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly. And now first and goal, expect them to tap right here on this play. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. When you look at the geography, we're staring at this part of the field. Don't you always think of big backs carrying go, the football, bruisers hey. trying to pound it in? Instead, check, 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 look at check. a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. And they went with the elusive slippery guy. Couldn't get in there, though. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Kiko Alonso. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been Ready. used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Again, it's Kamara, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. Now, that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking up the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth-quarter stop? A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run. This is Kamara. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The Ready. defense Ready. has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try to right side with Murray. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. 
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Keep playing hard, fellas, all day. Woo! Let's get it. Go ahead. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Watch 54. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Completes it to Samuel. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. First down now, but the clock continues to move. First down, Garoppolo finding Bourne here over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here we go, here Clock we go. now under 30 ticks and running. Mike 54. Mike 54. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo from behind and he's going to be driven down. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Here we go, here we go. 3rd down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. And they're indeed going to go for it here on 4th down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. There's Garoppolo to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.